This is a 63 year old male uh, after a uh, endotrectomy of the right common femoral artery and a femoral popliteal bypass in 2018. Uh, arterial hypertension, diabetes mellitus type 2, active smoker. He had also some kidney problems and an nephrectomy. He also has renal insufficiency and an amputation of the first toe of the right foot. There was a ulcer on the second and third digit of the right foot and he had a very low ABI measured on the posterior tibial artery of 0.31. The bypass and the popliteal artery were patent. We didn't have any duplex information distally. Here you can see uh, the angiographic image. You can see an occlusion of the posterior tibial artery and a patency of the distal lateral plantar artery and here you can see with difficulty a connection between the anterior and the posterior circulation. You can see a very good quality of the anterior tibial artery, but of, uh, of course with the non-healing ulcers on the second and third digit. Although this looks pretty good distally, this was not enough. So even when you see a distal uh, connection here, uh, I decided to uh, re, uh, revascularize also the posterior tibial artery. Here you can see intraluminal uh, recognition with an 014 advantage uh, guide wire and an Armada 2 by 80 millimeters that advanced up until a certain point, but it was not possible to go beyond a certain point again because of the blunt tip of the uh, balloon catheter. Therefore, I exchanged for a more rigid guide wire, and this is, uh, I think, one of the things that you really need to uh, keep in mind. Uh, go uh, with a soft wire first, then escalate, try to get more support. Then I exchanged also for a uh, more tapered tip balloon catheter, as you can see here. This is the Armada XT again, which I use oftentimes as a support catheter with the additional advantage that you can use it as a pre-dilation catheter afterwards. So here you can see that this uh, balloon is now advancing a little bit more and I managed to get through with the wire more distally. Then also the a uh, two by 20 balloon did not advance and I went down with the size and now you can see that the uh, smaller size 1.5 by 20 advanced and was uh, used for pre-dilatation. Then a second pre-dilatation was performed with a two by 20 because the larger balloon still did not follow. And here you can see the uh, XT two by 20 now being very distally, and then we could finally uh, deliver the therapy over the entire segment. And now we have not really created a pedal uh, plantar loop uh, as the tip of, as is the typical case, but we have created a flow from two sides towards the forefoot, and this resulted in good wound healing. Two months after the procedure, the patient had a uh, higher ABI and was ambulating again without a problem.